soon. We are all probably excited. I know some people aren't for reasons other than football. But you know what? I'm super excited. And I can't wait for more sports to start going live. I'm super excited because this weekend golf is back. I love golf. I've golfed many years. Golf, 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 golf. I love to golf. It's super relaxing out on the course. I also prefer to ride, which is different than many because there's two types of golfers out there. Two types of amateur golfers out there. There's the ones who try really hard to be good, and there's the ones who drink more beer than golf. <laughs> not that I'm, not that I'm condemning uh, anything, but I would say that I'm more of a golfer. I actually, you know, I have friends I'll golf with who will start drinking and be like, "Hey, Tico." have a beer, and I'm like, yeah, no, no thanks, because I've, uh, been through the trial and error phase of what beer does to me, or alcohol does to me on the golf course. It makes me so loosey-goosey that I have no idea where that ball's going. But today, off the golf topic, we've got a handful of new items here, uh, to get all tappy-tappy and patty-patty and scratchy-scratchy with today. So, uh, sit back, relax, and, uh, enjoy. One thing I've noticed is how dry my mouth gets while doing these videos. So, uh, I've, I usually have my shaker cup here, my accent sledge shaker cup. I do not have that today. Instead, I have some fine, fine Kirkland branded sparkling water, lime flavored. I uh, was at Costco last night and they had 36 pack of these in three different flavors. You get lime, uh, lemon, and grapefruit uh, and in the pack and it costs nine bucks for 36 cans. So it's like, we doing it. So we'll get right into it. The uh, We're going to review the 2010 NFL season. We're progressing chronologically here. Chronologically here. Chronological, chronological. NFL, NFL. Kansas 
Kansas City at 10 and 6. San Diego at 9 and 7. The Oakland Raiders at 8 and 8. And the Denver Broncos at 4 and 12. And we will take a break from our scheduled programming for some tapsies. Switching up our Axe and Sledge product of the video, we had been doing the farm fed protein. Today, we have hydraulic, hydraulic, in my favorite unicorn blood flavor. The unicorn blood is very much the rainbow sherbet. Rainbow with Sherbert. Sherbert, Sherbert, Sherbert. Hydraulic is the Axe and Sledge's version of the non stim, no caffeine pre workout. It's perfect for um, getting very strong pumps of blood, blood flow, and nutrient flow equals growth. So you're pushing a lot of blood into your muscles as you're working out and lifting. Um, that's what this product specializes in. Um, I take this with my lifts, um, and it gives me some crazy, crazy good blood flow and pumps. Um, they, are some, they have five patented ingredients in their pre-workout, which is very rare on the market. Um, and it is a little higher of a price point compared to you know, your standard GNC or vitamin shop items. But it, um, with the patented items, and quite frankly, the flavors are all on point, um, they can charge a little more, and I'm more than willing to pay a little more. As always, in the discount, or in the uh, discount, in the description below, there will be a link to their website and a discount code for 10% off so that you can go and get your goods too and stay lean, stay fit, and, uh, you know, kill some weights, de-stress. I'm all for weightlifting as de-stressing. Helps me out a lot. So, enough of this. season in review. So, uh, for the NFC, starting in the NFC East, we have the Philadelphia Eagles at 10 and 6. The New York Football Giants at 10 and 6. The Dallas Cowboys at 6 and 10. The Washington Redskins at 6 and 10. For the NFC North, 
You had the Chicago Bears at 11 and 5. You had the Green Bay Packers at 10 and 6. You had the Detroit Lions at 6 and 10. And the Minnesota Vikings at 6 and 10. NFC South. You had the Atlanta Falcons at 13 and 3. The New Orleans Saints at 11 and 5. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 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 The new home of Tom Brady. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 10 and 6. And the Carolina Panthers at 2 and 14. And out west, NFC West, we had Seattle, Seattle Seahawks at 7 and 9. The St. Louis Rams at 7 and 9. The San Francisco 49ers at 6 and 10. And the Arizona Cardinals at 5 and 11. That is one terrible division. At least in 2010, not now. So, moving on to the, well, yeah, moving on to the next Tappy Tappy Trigger. Tappy Tappy Trigger. Last time we had a candle, this time we'll have a candle. This one is same brand. Chesapeake Bay Home Scents. The fragrance is Paradise Flower. Paradise Flower. smells so good. Wish you could smell it too. So, moving on to the playoffs. In the NF first NFC wild card game, by the way, this was before all of the new rules happened, so there's a um, in this season, there were two AFC and NFC wildcard games. There were then the two divisional playoff games. And then there were the two championship, conference championship games, and then the Super Bowl. And now it's done differently. So, back in, this was January 8th, 2011, the New Orleans Saints were at, so they were a wild card team, were at Seattle Seahawks, in which Seattle Seahawks won 41-36. And in the AFC, the New York Jets wild card team were at the Indianapolis Colts, and the New York Jets won 17-16. On the 9th of January 
2011. In the AFC wildcard game, the Baltimore Ravens had a brain fart there for a second. The Baltimore Ravens, 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 wildcard team were at the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Baltimore Ravens won 32 7. That's a bit of a blowout. Um, and on the same January 9th, 2011, on the NFC side, you had the Green Bay Packers, 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 wildcard team, at the Philadelphia Eagles, 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 in which the Green Bay Packers won 21 to 16. On the 15th of January, you had the first AFC Divisional Playoff game. It was the Baltimore Ravens at the Pittsburgh Steelers for the third time that season, with them being in the same division, in which the Pittsburgh Steelers won 31-24. Uh, in the NFC there was the Green Bay Packers at the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons, uh, the Green Bay Packers won 48 to 21. For the second NFC game on the 16th of January, there was the Seattle Seahawks at the Chicago Bears. The Bears. The Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears. In which the Bears won 35 to 24. And the other AFC divisional playoff game on the same 16th of January 2011 was the New York Jets at the New England Patriots. In which the New York Jets beat the New England Patriots 28-21. to 21. Completely forgot about that. On the next, on to the next game, on January 23rd, 2011, there was the NFC Championship game and the AFC Championship game. The NFC game was between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. The Bears, the Bears. In which the Green Bay Packers won 21 to 14. And on the AFC side, it was the New York Jets at the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which the Pittsburgh Steelers won 24 to 19. 19, 19, 19, 19. Setting up a Super Bowl matchup between. Aaron Rodgers and Big Ben Roethlisberger on the 6th of February. But before we get to that fun game, let's do another trigger. The coffee mug. Now, I will be honest, this is not my mug. This is actually my wife's mug. But it applies to both of us. Hashtag food prep day. Because we both do food prep. A lot of food prep. With her not eating meat, she has to uh, to kind of get diverse. So we, we do some kind of different food preps for her. For me, I'm a pretty basic guy. Ground turkey, chicken. With sweet potato, rice, broccoli, asparagus. Pretty, pretty simple. Asparagus, asparagus. Asparagus. So, let's have some fun here.
the Super Bowl, played on February 6th, 2011, at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas, at Jerry World, attendance of 103,219 people. Green Bay got off to a quick, quick lead in the first quarter. Touchdowns in the first five, three, five, three to five minutes. I won a touchdown pass from Aaron Rodgers. Won a pick six from Nick Collins. In the second quarter, uh, Pittsburgh got on the board with a field goal by Sean Schweizum. Schweizum, Schweizum, Schweizum. Um, then uh, later in the quarter, I totally read that wrong. Green Bay scored in the first quarter, late in the quarter, on back-to-back -back possessions. Anyways, Green Bay gets on the board again with another Aaron Rodgers touchdown pass. So they are up 21-3 to midway through the second quarter. Hines Ward catches a touchdown pass from Ben Roethlisberger late in the second quarter to make it a 21-10 to halftime lead. For the Green Bay Packers. Uh, in the third quarter, there was only one score, and that was a Richard Mendenhall. Mendenhall, 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 Mendenhall. Richard Mendenhall, eight yard touchdown run with a Sean Sweezum, Sweezum kick to make it to 28 to 17. Uh, at the fourth quarter, Greg Jennings caught an eight-yard touchdown pass from Aaron Rodgers. Uh, they put Green Bay up 28-17. Um, next, uh, Mike Wallace scored a, took or caught a 25-yard pass from Ben Roethlisberger for a touchdown with a two-point conversion converted by Antoine Randall Ill, probably the best product out of Indiana University um, in the last how many years, made the game 28-25, and then uh, later, uh, towards the end of the game, there was a, the field goal by Mason Crosby for Green Bay, putting them up 31-25. And that ended up being your final. So Green Bay Packers were the Super Bowl champions. And if my memory serves me correctly, that was the first year that Aaron Rodgers won in the Super Bowl. Now look at him. He's, I, I, don't, I think he's got one or two more Super Bowls, but he is rocking out in the game today. So... Uh, without further ado, uh, that is going to end the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment down below with um, your thoughts on the NFL. Your thoughts on how this upcoming season is going to be being a little strange. Um, and I feel like, honestly, honestly, I feel like there's going to be more social impact on the game than the game itself the game is going to be the game and the players are going to be the players and they're going to play to the best of their abilities every day every practice every game but I feel like there's going to be more intention on the broadcasts in the games etc on these social issues that are going on in the United States right now so I'm curious to see how that's all going to go down um, Personally, I am not a huge NFL fan. Um, I'm more of a college football and college basketball fan. Um, it seems like the, team, the players have more um, want to do good and want to be better uh, and develop themselves in the NCAA versus the pros. The pros, it's all about that cheddar, baby. It, it's it's so much about get that big contract, get drafted high, get that big contract. And I feel like not every player, but most players, once they get that big contract, they stink. 
absolutely stink. So, I don't know. I, I'm not the biggest NFL person on the planet. I like to watch football. I want to see my hometown Cleveland Browns do well. Uh, this year, I think they might be onto something, but they said that last year, in which it turned into a giant colossal pile of dog crap. No, no, uh, mascot intended. Mascot pun intended. <laughs> but, uh, nevertheless, I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great week. Enjoy the beautiful weather, at least, that's here in Northwest Ohio. I will definitely be enjoying the weather, 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 with another weekend of bike rides. So, I will talk to you all soon. I look forward to doing the next video, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.